Today's video is provided by ChaosCards.com. For more great Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon and Magic the Gathering products, including the latest releases, check out ChaosCards.com. The link will be in the description. What's up everyone, this is Mr. King Liam here. And today, as you can see, um, I've got a little bit of a random uh, opening for you today. It is seven packs of uh, Judgment of the Light. Um, now, I was actually, um, I was actually going through uh, Chaos Cards um, a while back, and I noticed that they were actually selling these for pretty much a pound a pack. So um, I figured um, Judgment of the Light still has some decent stuff in it. It's still got Star Reader, uh, Armadeus. It's still got uh, I can't remember the comedian. It's got Cockadoodle Doo. Um, it's got and it's got Angel Zero. So there is some decent cards in here. Or transmodifiers in here as well. So I figured um for for just a fun opening, uh why not just pick a couple of pack couple of these packs up. And also I should mention actually these are um let me just pick one. These are all actually first editions, so so um yeah, so this should be a fun opening to do. So we've got seven packs and let's get started. So like I said, I'm uh, hoping to pull maybe something good, like a Transmodify. Uh, this is also the set where Bujin's first going to do. So we have uh, Bujin Warg, uh, Mega Fan of Beast Cult Wing, uh, Umbral Horror Un uh, Unform, uh, Sonic Boom, uh, Tratrix Marmello. So those are in the set. And we have an Ultra, we have uh, a Shape Sister. A shape sister. Uh, Fencing Fire Ferret, Mega Fan of Beast. Uh, uh, Harrier, I can't remember the name, and the Seas Agent. So, we got a holo, um, probably not the best holo, I have to admit, but um, probably made our money back anyway, because they're only a pound, these packs. But still, we've still got six packs left. Well, if they open, there we go. We've got another Sonic Boom. Oh, I think we've got something. Exceed Reception, uh, Vain Betrayal, Googly Eyes Drum Dragon. Uh, we have a number, 102 Star Surf, and. Oh, it trolled me. <laughs> I'm again Designate, Bujin Wolf, uh, Junk Blader, and Exceed Reversal. That's the thing about the older sets, is that the Exceeds control you sometimes. Think it make you think that um, it's actually a hollow one, it's not. Well. Next pack. Uh, Star Gasu Lighthouse. Another Bujin. Uh, Interceptor Mado. Uh, Shark Kaiser. Uh, we have Mega Phantom Beast. Uh, War Blurin. Uh, this is actually pretty good rare because um, if anyone's seen my Mega Phantom Beast deck profiles over the years, I do I do quite like using this card. Uh, the Atmosphere. I think one of the hardest cards to bring out, if I'm correct. Trap Tricks. Uh, Umbral Horror, Ghoul, and Madolce. Okay, four packs left. Can we get can we get something good from these packs? So we have Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, uh, Curry Ball. Uh, back in the day, um, probably uh, one of the most sought after cards was Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Rooster, but it's not really worth that much anymore. Uh, Bajingi Turtle, a Star Seraph Scout, uh, Gulia's Drum Dragon. We have Torbus to Forbidden Realms, and we have a an Atmosphere again, a Black and White Wave, and an Umbral Horror Ghoul. And so yeah, it's, it's, that's one of the cards that went down quite a lot, along with uh, a World of Prophecy as well. That's another secret in this set which definitely went down. Uh, Limit Dragon. Uh, Bujin Field, Bujin Walk, another Bujin. Uh, that's a lot. That's a long name. Archfiend Emperor, the First Lord of Horror. So that's quite a long rare. Uh, the Calibrator. Actually, that's um, that's not too bad. The staple card. So that's not too bad. The side deck card. That's what I meant. Uh, Wheel on the Wisp, Super Defense Robot, Monkey, and Revenge. Exceed Revenge Shuffle. Okay, two packs left. They see reception, cheap, 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 cheap. I bet a lot of people were making the joke that that's a cheap card back in the day because of the name. Uh, Colt, Mecha Thunder Beast, Colt Wing. 
uh, V Salamander, uh, a card for the uh, ZW decks, and we have, oh, Galaxy Serpent. You know what? I'll take that. Um, Galaxy Galaxy Serpent, actually, I'll just go through the comment, the back of the comment. So the rest of them was uh, Ghoul, Diddy Battlefield, Herald, what was the rare? Oh, Herald, res behind. Um, this isn't actually too bad a card. Um, if you play, if anyone's ever played, um, if anyone's ever played that level six uh, herald, sorry, uh, what's the dragon? Heretic dragons. There we go. Um, this is actually this. I've actually uh, made use of this in a dragonity build using a heraldric. So this isn't too bad a card, I will say. But ob uh, obviously, the could have been a better, could have been a better hollow. So last pack. What are we gonna get? Also, that was actually the uh, that was actually the promo for this set back in the day. I actually remember that. I actually remember that being the ultra rare promo. I never, I never got this. I never got uh, this in preview back, but I just, I just remember that being the uh, the hollow. So the ultra. So we have uh, Umbreo Horror uh, Unifon, a uh, Star Star of Scout, a uh, Star Star of Sword, Super Defense Robot Leo. We have number one or two Star Star of Century. And we have Spell Recycler, Star Series, uh, Sage, another Calibrator, and a Bujin, the Sword. So, um, overall, I will have to say, probably not the best opening in the world. Uh, we could have definitely done a lot better. But uh, these cards are only about seven pound for these cards are only about seven pound for the whole for the whole uh, opening. So, yeah, that's fine with me. So for our for our rares, we have number one or two uh, Star Seraph uh, Century, uh, V Salamander, uh, Archfiend Emperor, the First Lord of Horror, which is definitely quite a long name. Tour bus to Forbidden Realms. In fact, let me just have a look at that. Uh, so we've got uh, Cyberstein, I think that is. Don't know what these are. Uh, Sangin, which is uh, quite funny actually, because that just came off the ban list. <laughs> uh, Mechafinite Beast, Warblurin. Another one I'd say, so we actually got two of those. And a Tractrix Mamalo. And for our two hollows, we got a Galaxy Serpent and a Shape Sister. Um Shape Sister definitely probably is probably one of the lower uh in fact there we go. Shape Sister is probably one of the lower ultras to pull unfortunately, but you know what I'm I'm happy with I'm happy with a Galaxy Serpent, I don't mind pulling that. So anyway, um, there was a Judgment of the Light uh, first edition. That, sorry, there was a <laughs> lost my train of thought. There was a Judgment of the Light first edition uh, pack opening. Um, I will probably, I have to admit, I'll probably be doing um, one more round of pack opening. Um, if you were to see my uh, update video recently, you'll probably know why I'm doing these. But uh, yeah, um, it's sometimes sometimes fun to just open. Uh, older packs as you've been noticing on my channel lately so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you did then please make sure to like this video and also subscribe to my channel to, to know where my newest content is coming out also be free to check out my uh, twitter and patreon page as well i hope you enjoyed this opening and for now this is mr king Lim signing out